Hello everybody, Marv Levy here, veteran of World War II, and I will start out as President Franklin Roosevelt used to say back in those days, hello my fellow Americans. It is a pleasure to talk with you all on this 75th anniversary of VE Day. And even though it was 75 years ago, I and so many others who were there then will remember it so fondly. The war in Europe was over. There were still four long months to go, and I can remember. I, at that time, since I had been only 16 when the war broke out, had just recently entered service, and I was walking through the streets, or the paths, I should say, at Apalachicola Army Air Base, where I was scheduled, when we heard the news that World War II in Europe, VE Day, had ended. There were four long months still ahead, however, in that fray. I've been there back to the World War II Memorial Museum many times and how inspiring it is to remember those with whom I served and what those days were like. And I can remember finally when that war did end four months later. And so recently I have written a book of poetry. Only two of them relate to World War II but I will read or recite at least for you one of them that I did write. World War II was over. At last it was done. Oh, how we celebrated. Was it ever fun? Soldiers, sailors, airmen, and Marines in our speffy dress uniforms flooded the scenes. Pretty girls wearing gloves and cute little hats in high-heeled shoes rather than flats greeted us now wherever we'd go, on the streets or in bars or at the USO. And when the band played Little Brown Jug, we'd laugh and we'd flirt and we'd jitterbug. Never since then have we heard anyone sing, like Sinatra, Dino, Ella, and Bing. We were young, optimistic, and full of zest. We were up for all challenges, for any test. College days and so much more beckoned us now and into it we tore. And when those days on campus came to an end, onward we moved toward the road's next bend. Then we got married to that girl we adored, got a job, and bought a house we could barely afford. With children, with families, with friends, with delight, we kept surging forward with all of our might. But the years kept passing, and then one day, I noticed that my hair was turning gray. So what if I was a little bit older? I just ignored it like the pain in my shoulder. I kept right on enjoying the world that we'd saved from those tyrants so evil and depraved. But now, faster and faster the years go by, and many of my dear pals have said goodbye. And though today's world might consider us old, I'll remember us when we were young and bold. A few hundred thousand of us still march along, but I'll remember us all 16 million strong. I'll remember us all as World War II buddies, not as some out-of-date fuddy-duddies. I'll remember that time we went off to war and then returned to a world that was better than before. I'll remember all those with whom I served. The greatest generation, a title deserved. Well, as I say, we're celebrating VE Day. It's still four more months till VJ Day. And so I will conclude now by doing what we did way back there 75 years ago in the Army Air Corps, with my final words, off we go into the wild blue yonder, climbing high into the sun, down we dive, spouting our 